We have followed the career of Matt Pierre for eight seasons. And in his career, he's accomplished a lot of great things, but unfortunately, that has not been met with postseason success. Despite being one of the most consistent running backs to ever play the position, and coming off a year in which he ran for 1,700 yards and 20 touchdowns at the age of 31, Matt Pierre has won a single playoff game in his career, and we are going to go into the future really focused on finding how we can get Matt Pierre that Super Bowl ring, or at least as close to that Super Bowl ring as we can get. And that might mean leaving Tampa Bay in this episode. At the age of 31, you'd rather be a year early to free agency than a year late. And I'm not sure this defense is going to be enough to get us where we need to go. This season was not good enough. Even though the offense has some good players, this team is just overall still in a bit of a rebuild. So we're going to test free agency today. That's the decision. Maybe we go back to Tampa Bay, but we're at least going to find out if we have other options that maybe can get Matt Pierre playoff success at last. Matt has become very familiar with the Pro Bowl, but we'd all like to see him play in a different bowl at least once in his career. Here are the top teams in the NFL at the moment, and I went through to find the top-rated defenses and correlated them with some top-rated offenses. So the best overall fits for Matt going forward could be the Seattle Seahawks, who went 11-5 this season. It could be the teams in LA, the Chargers are 10-6, and, and they have one of the top defenses and a top-10 offense as well. The Rams also made the playoffs. Could they be an option? Well, it's going to come down to who offers Matt Pierre a deal when free agency opens. Oh, look at that. Even Gant Blizzard turned down the Buccaneers. The defense could still get worse. All right, we're demanding a release. Matt Pierre is leaving the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, at least for now. As we enter the next stage, no offers here for Matt Pierre. I believe that also happened last time we had this situation, so no concern yet. He's still an 86 overall or so. We'll check on regression, but I wanna see the offers. And there you go, what? Who is that team? Who moved? What is going on in this league? I don't think I've ever had relocation on, but clearly there's a team and I don't even know who they are. The Black Knights, that's who it is. It's the Cleveland Browns. They've left Cleveland. Okay. I I didn't think I had relocation on. They got BJ Sankey at quarterback. Okay, he's a 91 overall and he doesn't want to run too much. So that's a great fit. I love the quarterback here. And they have a need at running back. At receiver, Malcolm Maley. All right, he's rock solid. How about Adonis Hogan, Corey Coleman, David Njoku? I want to know about that defense, though. James Walford, Miles Garrett, 99. All right, I see some room for improvement, though, in that front seven. All right, this defense isn't great, but it'd be an overall good fit for the team. Then you get the Baltimore Ravens here, Ross Blevins. He's a solid pocket passer as well, so another good quarterback option. They don't have a single running back on the roster. All right, I can teach you something about getting running backs. At receiver, they're young and they need more. So they have to draft receivers and running backs. They have a good tight end here. How about their offensive line? We could use a bit more there. The defense, meanwhile. The defensive line, not too impressive. The linebackers, average to below average. Secondary has some players, but not as good as I was hoping. The Atlanta Falcons, do we stay in the NFC South again? 40-year-old Matt Ryan. I'm not sure I could sit here and watch him throw a 78 throw power. That might be a deal breaker right there. He's 40. They have a need at running back. And maybe they're a decent fit but I don't think that playing with Matt Ryan's arm would get us to the Super Bowl but they have maybe the most intriguing defense so far so how do we get Matt Ryan out of Atlanta to start uh, Sean Loribus can we start him 
Then there are the Chargers. Could they be the one? Lawrence Free is their quarterback, but he's mobile. He likes to run. They have Israel Heron Jr. at running back. He's good. They don't need Matt Pierre necessarily. Got a couple good receivers. Man, I want one more offer from somebody. Joey Bosa, it'd be great to play on the same team as him. Yeah, Atlanta has the best defense, but Matt Ryan is old. Oh wait, there are other offers. They never showed these other teams. We have the Bengals and the Bills still, but I didn't write them down as teams I was thinking about. We're waiting a little bit. I gave all these teams a chance to add more free agents. So is there anyone who can impress me? We have the Black Knights who just signed a running back, Kevin Edwards, but it's to a, a short one year deal. They also signed Percy Grant. So they're trying to upgrade the defense we see. They're definitely gonna need to make some upgrades though. I also want everybody to remember that Matt Pierre has not gotten an offer from the Buccaneers. They actually went and signed someone else, Ahmad Wiley, who's younger than Matt Pierre. So they're okay moving in a completely different direction, which means Matt will not be a buck again. They lost OJ Howard. The offensive line is overall good. Yannick Ngankwe. See, defensive line only has one impact player. Linebacker is getting old. At corner, Franklin Todd is good. The Falcons are intriguing. I know Matt Pierre has a better arm than Matt Ryan at this stage of their careers, but this is the best overall team and they just won the NFC South. The defense, I would at least trust. They're good. And they still have a draft to maybe shore up cornerback. But is Matt Ryan the right quarterback for the job? I think it comes down to the Falcons and the Black Knights. Both have an offense that I believe could give Matt Pierre what we're used to, except for Sankey's a much better quarterback than Matt Pierre at this stage of their careers. As far as the offensive line, Black Knights have a good one. In Atlanta, left tackle's not great. Left guard's awesome, so is center and right guard, so between the tackles, it's just fine. And they're getting older on defense, so that's one area that's interesting, that they're really old there, but they're also good. This is a hard decision. Last year, the Black Knights were average at defense. By the way, they're in London, the London Black Knights. So Matt Pierre could go, he could leave the country to attempt to win a Super Bowl, it's gotten that bad. They were 8-8 eight eight last year, pretty average. Are the old Cleveland Browns really the team that can get this done? The Falcons were very close in terms of just their overall defensive ratings. And one of the issues with Atlanta. So they have a good young quarterback, but he's not playing because of Matt Ryan. So say we go there for two years. Matt Ryan's not good enough this year. So we wait a year. But that's also a year longer that aging defense gets even older. Maybe some of those players get the end of their deals or they regress to the point where they're not great anymore. Atlanta, why can't you just trade away Matt Ryan and start the young guy? And then I'll go there. That's all it would take. Grady Jarrett, Duke Riley, Matt Ryan. Wow, they have way too many one-year contracts for next year. It's so many of their impact players. Meanwhile, the Knights, they could lose their 90 overall fullback, and then Njoku's in the last year of his contract. This is one of the hardest decisions I've had to make for this series. Cam Newton's in Buffalo. We could join him there. Is he still a mobile quarterback with 69 speed? Because if he's just a pocket passer now, that would work fine. So we could join Cam. And the receivers there, Trevante McCullers, Charles Jolly, not the most talented offense. How about the defense? They got DJ Stevenson, one good lineman, a few good linebackers, that's good. And they have two talented corners. So this defense isn't bad. Then Paul Bin plays in Cincinnati, pocket passer with some speed. And there's John Ross as their number one receiver. What's he done in his career? John Ross. Where are all the deep touchdowns? We got 33 yards, 33 yards, like one long touchdown. 
Does Matt Ryan need that better throw power though? I have Anton Greenberry at like 83 in the last game I played. Ah, oh, the accuracy is good. This is very tough. You know what? The Black Knights just won their division by going 8-8. Eight eight. The AFC North is terrible. I think the decision has been made. They said a team in London could never sign free agents. Well, how about Matt Pierre? He's headed to London to join the Black Knights. Let's go. The decision has been made. What do you think of it? It's time for the draft. Just go defense. All right, that's all I want you to do is to select some defenders. Can you do that? To start the draft, the Black Knights go receiver. All right, building up the offense, make your strength stronger. 53, defensive tackle. I thought the areas in need here were defensive tackle and linebacker, so there's one. Let's go. We got one. Whoops. And then corner. Okay, cornerback depth. That was also important. Good pick, good pick. And a left tackle. Okay, depth. We all need depth. And then corner again. Yes. That's a good thing. 181. Oh, I love the pick there. Talbot. I, I was watching him a couple years ago at junior college. That guy is a player. 213. Oh, Rudd. Are you kidding me? That guy's a legend in the making. How do we actually do, though? 81. We got a receiver. Russell Keaton. We got three deep at receiver. They're building this team like my Cleveland Browns. Only they moved to London, and now they're trying to copy me. And then Darion Butler, defensive tackle, eh, 70 overall, that's not great. A lot of work to do there. 67 overall, 70, 69. Uh, Frederick Talbot though, let's talk about 73 overall strong safeties. 84 speed, 82 zone, definitely more of a box safety. And Philip Rudd from Illinois State, good speed, hands need work but he can block. Overall, I don't see a lot of year one impact from this class outside of Russell Keaton. Oh, the Buccaneers. What did they do to all these 70 overall plus players? They got two receivers, Ryan Wolf, Jason Gibson. They then go defensive line, Rashawn Havner. But I don't really see a major defensive impact. They still put most of their picks into the offense. Our season opens here at home against the Baltimore Ravens. We play at the castle, apparently. All right, Matt Pierre now in London. Hopefully this is where we can win a Super Bowl. Are the Bucks on the schedule? Nope, NFC North. So no revenge game unless the Colts are on here, which they're not. All right, so we have gone to the former Cleveland Browns. I have no clue how long they have been in London. That could have been a long time and I would have never noticed. But here we are now with the London Black Knights. Matt Pierre is another year older. His acceleration is going down and many of his ratings are probably going to start dropping quickly as he continues to age. However, we have some experience and we're going to hopefully mitigate that. Now, I don't see any regression here, but he's an 86, so clearly something happened. I'm not sure when they show if he's fallen at all. Wow, he's the number 23 ranked halfback in the league? Running back must be in an amazing place right now. We have 50,000 experience, though, so we're going to spend some of that. Was he never clutch? Well, we're making him clutch in that case. We're also going to upgrade his stiff arm to 90. One to juke, one to spin, one to catch. And we still have a whole lot more. Oh, one time I went and dropped his kick return all the way to 20. I controlled a different team, dropped his kick return because I was tired of playing special teams. I didn't want to do it anymore. So I did edit that one rating on my own. Oh, our season goal. You know it's going to be all maxed out. Matt Pierre still trying to show he's not slowing down too much. I can't wait to see Matt Pierre play with the London Black Knights, and we'll do that next episode. It's the first episode to not have a game because the offseason went really long. But let me know what you thought of the decision for Matt Pierre to go to London instead of Atlanta or a different team. Is this the one that can actually get Matt Pierre what we've been waiting for for now over eight seasons? 
Thank you all for watching and helping this channel reach 100,000 subscribers. The channel broke the milestone over the weekend. If you haven't already subscribed, definitely do that now and hit the bell for notifications when new videos are posted. And I will see you again soon. Have a great day.